better show. I think we've got a great show for you today. This is in honor of uh, 2017's a celebration of National Love Your Pet Day, and that's on February 20th. And we're going to celebrate today. This is Gretchen. This is part of our team. I have Coco in my arms, and uh, Gretchen has. I have Honey. Right. One is really super smart, and one is not. But in honor of show your pet some affection. But she's and very cute. She is adorable. We're just not going to say who the smart one is and who the smart one isn't. Right. But in honor of our pets, we've got them dressed up. And also in honor of Yoshi and Poochie's Wooly World, we're going to share the top 10 tips. They're going to be up here on screen, right from Yoshi and his new game from Nintendo for Nintendo DS3 as well as the Nintendo Wii U. And it is uh, a great game. And for those of you in our audience who knit, and I, and I know there are a whole bunch of you out there who knit, you're going to love to check out this game because Yarn Yoshi and Yarn Poochie are adorable. They really are. As adorable as these two are. And I get a chance to do this with Gretchen now and then, and this one's a particular fun one because we both love pets. Gretchen has been my go-to pet person forever. You just have some wonderful pet stories. I, I'm not even going to touch on any of them because there's so many, but What's your favorite pet story? Uh, well, I grew up on a ranch, and um, we always had animals kind of showing up at our door. At any given time, we'd have two, three, four dogs, you know, six, seven, eight, nine cats, and then, of course, you know, the, the obligatory rabbit, guinea pig, fish, you know, on and on and on. But um, when you and I got married, we got a Rottweiler. And um, she was an awesome. <laughs> she wants she to be the was a very awesome dog. Yes. Very awesome dog. Yeah. Um, she was a hundred and twenty pounds <laughs> of fun lap Going. dog. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, close the windows. <laughs> So you now get anyway, to see why we yeah, have our right, dogs. Right. They protect us yes, from right. outside uh, injury and harm. Right. <laughs> Two kids playing basketball in our court. Um, anyway, <laughs> back to our Rottweiler. Her name yeah. was Brenny. Yep. And Brenny came from Stop. a Stop. house that had cats uh -huh. that That's played right. back. That's right. Uh, the cats grew up with the dogs, Hi. and so the dogs would, you know, as puppies, the dogs would chase the cats, the cats would turn around and chase the dogs, and it was all very much fun. Yeah. So Bren always thought that cats were to play with. Right. And um, <laughs> when we lived in California, we had a house that had a double front door with screen doors on it, yeah. and... Um, one time we had the doors open and the screen doors were there and Bren saw a cat <laughs> across the street. Oh gosh. And she, without even realizing that she was doing it, she went through the screen door. Uh-huh. And in the process of getting to the cat across the street, <laughs> flattened our lamppost in our front yard. Yes. Um, and it didn't even phase her. And she cornered the poor cat in our neighbor's garage across the street. And I don't think that cat was ever the same. But Bren was that way. She was a very big dog who had no idea how big she was. Yes. And right. she would always want to sit in your lap. And of course, that is just a huge dog to have sitting in your lap. She was a dear dog. She really and was. And we pampered her. We, what did we do well, on a weekly basis? she was our basis? first baby. She was our first baby. You know, we had her before we had kids. Right. So she... So we groomed her weekly, and we had a name for that. Yeah, Buff and Fluff. Buff and Fluff, right. right. And, uh, and the, so groomer, the groomer adopted her. And yep. so Bren, of course, when Bren went into the, to the groomer, she, of course, was never put in a cage. Right. She she got to the run of the place. And, she um, she made place. friends everywhere she went. She was just a really lovely dog. And then she passed away. And we moved out here. And we decided that we don't have enough room here to have a big dog. So we nope. got these two. These two. These two little dogs. Yep. This is Coco and Honey. And they're really yes, about you. Well, Yoshi has 10 tips from Yoshi's Woolly World about 
how to show some love on National Show Your Pet Some Love Day, my favorite was Take Your Pet on an Adventure. I thought that was a great one because we always have lots of fun. Mm -hmm. These two love to go on adventures. Right. What was your favorite of the top 10? Well, like we'll to... post those behind yeah. us on screen, by the way. There's several that I really like. Um, yeah. Uh, and, you know, one I think is very near and dear to my heart is, you know, adopt a pet. Yes. There's right. a lot of pets in the, uh, the kennels and the... the... <laughs> some, some might need to be in kennels. I really don't know what she's growling at no, now, do you? I, no idea. Okay. Anyway, um, if you can find some very sweet animals <laughs> Yeah. Um, you, you should adopt them. They all need good homes. There are lots of pets in needs, and there are lots of homes with special needs. If you're thinking about buying a pet for someone you love or for yourself, give some consideration to the type of home that you're going to provide for the pet. In certain instances, especially when you've got a senior uh, member of the family who's living in a nursing home and subjected to um, pet allergens and limitations on, uh, on housing needs because of pet allergens, Think about the new product called Joy for All from Hasbro. There's a cat and a pup, a golden retriever pup, and they are adorable. They're very lifelike. The fur is really very realistic. Um, you get actual pet sounds, gurgling, probably some growls <laughs> from, the, from the lovely pet. We'll have a link up to that and you'll see a little bit of that behind us too. But thanks so much for joining us today. It is the National Show Your Pet Some Love Day, and give those pets a little bit of affection. They give everything back to us. If you want to have a virtual pet, check out Yoshi's Wool Wooly World game. It is fantastic, and definitely check out the knitted versions of Yarn Yoshi and Yarn Poochie. But Gretchen, happy National Pet Love Day <laughs> to you and Hanora. And Coco wishes the same. And one of the other uh, great tips that Yoshi has is to uh, give your pet a high five. So I want to give Honey a high five, and you want to give Coco a high five? There we go. So thanks for joining us on the Not Old Better Show today on the 2017 National Show Your Pets and Love Day.